I have ideas. Even if I say it myself, uh, brilliant experiments. You could be part of them. Well, that's a very kind offer, but uh, my work's kind of a full-time thing right now. Why'd we stop? You know mosquitoes, bad bugs, fleas, ticks? They're all vectors for disease, yes? But instead of spreading sickness, why not change the formula? Make them carry genetically modified viruses. Antigenes to our own plug. Imagine releasing this in the third world, in Africa. Hmm? They're going to be bitten anyway. So why not let them catch malaria vaccine instead? But then first you would have to invent the malaria vaccine, right? You don't think it's possible? I didn't say that. You know Stalin, Mao Zedong? Only by mm -hmm. reputation. Both of them believed you could transfer ideology by breeding one indoctrinated generation to the next. And eventually you would get genetically programmed communists. I mean, I know this sounds maybe a little <laughs> bit crazy, but... There were some really good ideas in there. Huh? <laughs> <clears throat> but look, um, <laughs> oh, what good ideas are we talking about, really? You're not getting my point. What is your point? There is the idea, and there is making people believe in the idea. Uh -huh. And that is the key to scientific freedom.